Wait, I can do that better. What if it's like... So my name is Carly Place. I am based out of Salt Lake City, Utah at the moment, but I am currently an adventure travel creator, uh, kind of creating in the luxury couples travel niche. So why did you leave your job at the Minnesota Vikings? Okay, so I mean, it was kind of a long time coming in the way that um, I really, really loved that job. That was my first job out of college. Um, but I went on a creator trip to Greece while I was working at the Vikings and they were so supportive. I basically used like a ton of my vacation and they were like, some details are like, basically they said, we'll send you on this trip to Greece if you come with and create content for like this company. And I was like, that sounds amazing. And my full-time job at the time was like, that sounds amazing. You should take your vacation and go do that. So they're really supportive. I went on this trip and I just thrived and I did such like a, I really did a good job with all the content I created. And I saw other people kind of doing that full time when I was there. And I was like, why am I not doing this full time? Like they're asking for my help. I could do this for myself. So it was like a huge awakening that I'm like, I could be doing these side jobs that I have been doing in like the photography influencer world full time. There's other people doing it. I could do it. Um, so I saw it in action. It really inspired me. And then I essentially kind of started putting like different business things in place and reaching out to more and more companies to see if they'd want to work with me until I felt comfortable enough to be like, I guess I could do this on my own full time. And I decided to leave the Vikings when I had to start saying no to the opportunities that I like really, really wanted to do. So uh, I really waited as long as I could. And they were so supportive. Uh, the Vikings have such a, like a huge spot in my heart. So that's kind of the background there. How long were you influencing or content creating on the side before it became your full-time job? Um, so it's kind of, there's no like hard start date because I think as a lot of photographers do especially we all start with our camera in like middle school and then when we get older we all take senior pictures for our friends and um, I got my first job with the Vikings because I had been doing content creation for the Gophers um, just because that's what I was passionate about I was at all these sport events I was taking photos of my teammates for fun and they started using my photos in like the uh, like the meet recaps on online and stuff and so I had this big portfolio of doing content creation in the sports world but at the time as well I was really passionate about like creative portraits so in everything that I've done in sports which honestly feels really irrelevant to what I do now it's the portraits that have continued to be kind of like the star of my content because now what I do is like I will show uh, how I get these really incredible portraits of myself and my boyfriend. I'll show the behind the scenes, no gatekeeping. I just share everything I can to help other people kind of be able to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so there's really no hard start date. I'd say I didn't even consider myself an influencer maybe until this past year when I decided to make it a full-time job, so. I see that you are using Discord. Could you tell me about that or how sure. you use it? Yeah, so the background of that is actually that <laughs> my boyfriend like loves Discord for different things that he uses in life. And we've talked a lot about how do we like um, cultivate like a really, really engaged community with all these things that we're doing because I think sometimes when you grow a large following on social media especially on TikTok where you can't reach the same people every single time um, you feel really disconnected to them so the idea behind the discord is that let's funnel all these people that genuinely want to learn from us whether it's about content creation being an influencer traveling or drones or just having like a co creative community let's funnel them all into one place and i believe the wording i use is that it the, the goal for our discord channel which is called the do more network is a global community of creators with the goal of um sharing knowledge and helping us all do more so it's kind of like i don't 
I don't like to just like learn stuff and keep it for myself. Like I genuinely want to share that with people because if I had to go through all that hard work to figure out for myself and I could just give somebody that information to help them, why would I not do that? And the same for other people. I think if you're not learning, you're not growing. So it's kind of a place to learn, place to share knowledge. And it has also become um, kind of the home base for my shadow me sheer shadow me series which are like one hour long zoom demos where i take people through my creative process on a more detailed level so everything is kind of run through the do more discord but yeah i think we have some big plans for the discord but um we have some planning to do <laughs> yeah yeah and then do you have any tips for people who want to grow their following on social media Yes. Okay. So that kind of comes down to taking risks in some ways because you just ultimately need to put yourself out there. And if it's not working, you're not seeing the views, you're not seeing the the interest from an audience that you want to see. You just need to continue to kind of take a, a risk in sharing your story, sharing your work, sharing the things you're passionate about in different ways. If it's not working for you, you, you have to be able to adapt and change and share it in a different way. Because if you're putting yourself out there. People aren't responding the way you want them to. You're not seeing the return. You need to not let that kill your momentum. And you just need to kind of keep the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like people who look at like big social media stars and they're like, and they have the mindset of, oh, look at so-and-so. They have such a big following and they're making all this money, but I could do that so much better. Like I know my skills are better. That is like an awful, awful mindset. And you're doing yourself a huge disadvantage. Um, I are doing yourself a huge disservice because the only difference is that they are like being consistent by putting things out there. They found the way that it works for them. If you think like, oh, I can do this. You can, you absolutely can, but you just have to figure out how it works for you. It's kind of like when you walk into an art museum and you see an abstract painting and you're like, I could make that at home. But it's like, but you didn't. You didn't make that at home and you didn't get it into the art gallery. It's kind of like a, a weird parallel maybe, but that's the way I think of it. Like literally anybody can do it these days and you just have to figure out how it works for you. If I could share something with anybody who's wanting to put themselves out there and become a creator or as a young person that is aspiring to become a creator, a photographer, it's, it would be just to have fun while you're doing it, create content because you love the content, not because you want the views and stuff like that, because the things you create will be received so much more genuinely and so well online. And it's just like, kind of keep a positive outlook on the world of social media. I have never really had mental health struggles with social media, which I'm very grateful for, but I think I just don't put a lot of pressure on the numbers and that is a huge, huge help for me. So 